Welcome back. Today I ordered a rotary welding positioner, $210 shipped off of eBay. I got it because I have a project coming up that I'm gonna to need to kind of set some parts up and be able to make welds around it, make the project go a little smoother, a little faster, and hopefully have a better quality product. So $210 shipped off of eBay, super cheap entry into the positioning world. If you guys have looked them up before, you know that they can be crazy expensive. So I wanted to order this. Test it out. It's a good enough size for me and my project that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I wanted to see how it's going to hold up, if it's worth it, and if it's going to last. So I want to make some some videos, you know, going down the line, reviews in the future, talking about it. But for now, we'll unbox it. First impressions and go from there. Here we go. Seems to be packaged pretty well. Sort of. Got some handles. Clip. We have what looks like to be the foot pedal and the 110 plug. Oh, what else we got? I think this is the ground block. Yeah, it looks like it. What transfers the ground through my clamp to the table while I'm welding. That's what that is. That's another thing I'm really curious to see how well it holds up. If this ends up transferring too much heat if it doesn't transfer the ground well enough, if it's sputtery during welding, that will definitely be an issue. So I'm curious to see how well this is going to work while the table's rotating uh, during a weld. So we'll look into that. Uh, some sort of clamp here, not really sure. Try to avoid using the directions. So looks like we have the speed switch revolutions per minute I'm gonna guess on and off uh, lamp not sure uh, for the foot pedal and then the 110 plug let's see we got two clamps here okay it doesn't go any further that way but comes a little beyond 90 I want to see how well that holds up too. how much weight we'll be able to put onto it and have it be a smooth turn if the motor can handle it if the the clamps hold it tight enough to do so and we have a really small chuck here i think this is what these two handles are for to open and close the chuck i think that's exactly what they are yep these two handles they don't thread in they just set into place and they open and close this chuck. Seems pretty sturdy. On off, two on off switches. Oh, posi uh, directional, neutral, one direction, other direction, on and off switch here. All right, let's plug it in, check it out. And so this clip that I did find in the box, that is actually meant to hold the grounding bar into the welder, so, or the positioner. You put the grounding bar up in it, the slot, and then you take this with a curled end and put that up in, and that holds it with tension up against the wheel. We'll see how well that actually works. I don't really like that design, but yeah, we'll see. So I'll take it out for now. We got your 110 cord, it's maybe four feet long. Just pops right in. This is a VVOR positioner. If anyone's interested in looking into it on eBay. 
get some scissors to cut this and your foot pedal this cord looks quite a bit longer I say that's probably a 10 foot cord wow okay and this is a three pin setup and there is a groove to line it up okay and threads to secure it that's pretty nice yeah i'd say this foot pedal cord is about 10 feet it's pretty long plenty long enough i don't know that you need it any longer than that i'm curious to know if you can run this table without the foot pedal maybe that you can just turn it on and off so we are plugged in I think that's the safety off switch. The dial's already set to two, two revolutions per minute. Uh, let's see if we can get it to come on. There we go. So I selected the direction and turned it on and we have motion. Foot pedal works. pretty smooth oh, you can adjust it with the foot pedal on and it will go way faster than you'll ever need to weld with it so I get nothing from speed one two nothing still nothing oh a little bit above the two mark is about where it starts to actually spin which is a pretty nice low speed. Honestly, probably where you'd end up keeping it to weld. Not a super fine adjustment. Also, what I did notice is if you hold this lower chuck, this will get you open a lot more than what I had originally thought you would be able to get out of it, which probably is about that three or four inches as described in the listing. So if you keep spinning it, the dies open way up and you can actually remove these blocks, spin them, put them back in so you can grab the inside of a project or use the inside of these to clamp down on a project. So a pretty nice feature, just like your typical machining uh, chuck setup. So that is a nice feature. So I'll try to plug in the welder, get a piece set up on here and see how well that's gonna work for us. I'll just use the MIG welder to set up something quick and, and give it a test, but We'll see how well it works. Also, I'll give a test too at the lowest setting. I'll time the rotation to see how slow you can actually get it. And I don't think there's any need to go as fast as we can. That's way faster than you'll ever need to use this thing. Just for the quick test, I'm gonna take these two pieces here, a piece inch and a half pipe and this thin base plate here, and just weld them together, clamp them on in an internal clamp on the jaw here and run a pass and see how well it rotates if it's consistent if the ground is consistent uh, hopefully it is i don't really like how they set that up but we'll see how it goes i'm gonna get to welding that and I'm just going to clamp the ground clamp directly to this pigtail. I'll probably make something set up a little bit differently to bolt it through uh, to make it a little better of a, a ground, but for now that should be fine. Just to test it out. Seems like a decent speed. Sounds a little clunky, but should be okay. All right, so we'll pack it up, give it a shot.
So, so far the ground seems to be transferring pretty well. There was no hesitation with that couple tack welds there. So, I'll try it at the speed that I have it right now with a foot pedal and see what we can put down. Pretty good. I should have had the speed a little bit lower. It was definitely moving too fast on that to make a nice clean weld, but not too bad, all in all. So after that position, I'm gonna set this up just like this uh, and run another pass, stack it along the bottom, just to give it another test, uh, see how the heat transfers around the ground, which seems to be doing pretty well so far, and then go from there. So it went pretty well. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the cooler on the welder, but um, pretty smooth. I definitely think I need to set up something so I can kind of steady my arm and get a better, you know, personal fixture on the, all the weld joints just to make sure everything comes out smooth. Um, it did weld up pretty well. The heat is transferring fine and there's no issue with the ground transfer at all. So overall, I'm pretty happy about it. Another quick test I want to do is just see how sturdy this whole table is without it being clamped down or anything there is an option to clamp it or bolt it to whatever you're going to be working off of but just the way it stands um, i want to see how much it can kind of hold and rotate comfortably this is what i'm going to try to set on there it's a really big piece of i believe four inch od three and a half od quarter inch wall uh, I'll leave down below somewhere the weight of this pipe itself. Actually, I'll scale it and see what it turns out to be. But for now, I'm just going to try to fixture it on here. I think I'm going to need to switch the dies around and see if I can get it held up and see if it'll turn. It's as tight as I can get it. No problems there. Great. Now I'm going to lay it down and see if the trucks can hold it. I kind of doubt it. It's a lot of pipe there. What I will do if I'm able to use this for bigger pipe projects is set up some rollers to support it out here. Yeah, it's going to fall right off. But if I had, yep, there it is. All right, doesn't do it. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Totally, absolutely worth the $210 shipped to my door. Only took about a week and a half to get here. Pretty quick ship time. Maybe not even a week and a half, a week. Um, but yeah, overall pretty happy. Also, the whole chuck comes right off, so. I mean, minus the interruption of this, uh, the thread piece in there, which I'm not sure that you're actually able to take out. It probably goes right to the motor and the, and the wheel. Um, you can set up bigger pieces on here if you had projects, I don't know, maybe with a hole or something that was set up a little on the outside. You can utilize the, the whole table itself to, to work on your project. So pretty neat setup. Um, I do like the variable speed, even though it isn't super uh, sensitive, but it definitely gets you slow enough to, if you're doing TIG welds or any sort of slower welding process, it'll work totally fine for that. And then you can turn it up quite a bit too to really put the heat down to some bigger parts maybe that you have um, running some stick or, or uh, some pretty hot MIG. So overall pretty happy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave comments, questions. Thank you.